shoe wear. seems to be a very popular topic in the nursing profession. Everybody wants to know what's the best shoe that I should have? What's the best shoe that I should buy? Anybody have any recommendations on shoes? Regular tennis shoes? Puffy heel tennis shoes? Should I wear the clogs? The Birkenstock? Should I wear the Crocs? I personally try not to give a lot of suggestions related to shoe wear because Everybody's preferences are a little different. I've actually tried them all, and I go with the shoe that has absolutely nothing to do with healthcare in any way, but it's comfortable on my foot. So I thought I'd give five things that might help you when you decide to purchase your next set of shoes for work. Number one, know your feet. And what I mean is, do you have a high end step, a low end step? Do you flat footed? Do you have uh, big toes, little toes? Do you have to buy special tennis shoes when you do buy tennis shoes? Are your feet wide? Are they narrow? You gotta know your foot before you even take the leap into nurse related shoe wear. There are certain shoe types out there that are not available for certain types of feet. Also, you should know ahead of time, there are certain shoe wear types out there that don't come in half sizes. They only come in full sizes. So you can't buy an eight and a half, a nine and a half, a seven and a half, a six and a half. You can't buy the half. You gotta buy a seven, an eight, a nine. You know what, you get the point. Number two, wherever you go to get your shoes make sure there's a return policy of some sort so that maybe you can test out different types and styles maybe you're interested in trying the clogs or maybe you're interested in trying the birkenstock sliders maybe you're interested in trying the crocs it's all you or you want to try the puffy heeled shoes whatever your choice is Make sure that you, there's some sort of reputable return policy. Because you don't want to buy a pair of shoes, find out that not only do you not like them, but they don't fit well and they probably destroy your feet, but you can't return them. Number three, know the type of unit you're going to be working on or are working on. Do you do more standing than you do walking? And if you do walking, how much walking do you do? And I, hear me out. There are certain job positions that walk less and stand more. For instance, a lot of pack users are small and you don't have to do a lot of transporting. Filter in the patients one by one and you literally walk very little. You do a lot of standing at the bedside or next to the cart, however the scenario plays out. You may not even stand. You may do a lot of sitting. Take it into account when choosing your shoe wear. Number four, once again, know your type of unit, but also know and be familiar with the facility you work in. There are many facilities that you get everything accomplished on one floor or one area of the hospital, one wing of the hospital. But if you work in the large teaching facility, you're gonna do a lot of walking. You're gonna do a lot of road trips. You might wanna think about investing in a shoe that is going to get you where you need to go comfortably. Oh, and while we're at it, if you work in like the ER or the ICU in one of the critical care arenas, you're gonna do a lot of fast walking. You might even be doing a little bit of running. So you might wanna take that into consideration when choosing your shoe wear. And number five, and this is the, probably the most important one, there is no shoe out there that is infallible. There is going to be something about the shoe you don't like. Even if the shoe performs perfectly, they are not infallible. No shoe out there is absolutely 100% body fluid resistant. You know what I mean. Everything from IV fluids, water, vomit, blood, take your pick. 
Not every, not there is no shoe out there that is 100% guaranteed not to get soaked or stained. I don't care what the box says. And I only say that because if you spend a great deal of money on a pair of shoes and then you step in it, literally, you just spent a great deal of money on a pair of shoes that may not have worked very well. So you're going to have to replace them. Just something to think about. Pretty sure that everybody has some comments, concerns, suggestions in regards to the type of shoe to wear that you would or would not wear. Leave your comment down below. And as always, check your own pulse first.